Hello students, this video deals with the effect of branching on boiling point of alkane. Students, boiling point is the temperature at which the liquid boils and turns into vapor. The branched chain alkanes, they have lower boiling point than their isomeric normal chain alkanes. Now let's see the reason behind it. The boiling point of a molecule, it depends upon intermolecular forces. Now let's see what intermolecular forces are. These are the forces of attraction and repulsion between molecules that hold molecules, ions and atoms together. On the other hand, the intramolecular forces are the forces of chemical bonds within the molecule. As you can see here, it's a molecule of hydrochloric acid and the bond within the molecule is the covalent bond and it's a very strong bond and it's the intramolecular force. But the partial positive side of this molecule will attract the partial negative side of another molecule and it's a weak force of attraction and it's known as intramolecular force. Now before discussing the example, let's see what London dispersion forces are. The London dispersion force is the weak intramolecular force that results from the motion of electrons that creates temporary dipoles in molecules. These are sometimes referred as van der Waals forces. Now diagrammatically, you can see here the electrons are revolving around the nucleus. Whenever there is an unequal distribution of electrons, as you can see here, the electrons are clustered over here. So this end will get a partial negative charge and automatically this end will get a partial positive charge. This end will induce a temporary dipole as you can see here on another molecule and this end of this molecule will get a partial positive charge and this will push electrons on this end and this will get a partial negative charge. So temporary dipoles are induced and this attractive force is the intramolecular force. Now this is an example. This is normal pentane. As you can see here, five carbons are joined together. So this is normal pentane. And these red dots are indicating van der Waals forces or the London dispersion forces. Students, the London dispersion forces are strong because the molecules are close together. So the area of inter interaction between the two molecules is large. But in this case, iso and neopentane, you can see that weak London dispersion forces are there because distance increases because of branching. The area of interaction decreases because packing of molecules here is not tight. You can see here because of branching, the area of interaction decreases. Now, the London dispersion forces here are operating at four different places you can see here. But in this case, the London dispersion forces are operating at five different places. So the area of interaction between these two molecules is very large in case of normal pentane. But in the case of isopentane, it's, it decreases, it's less. And in the case of neopentane, it gets even lesser. As you can see here, diagrammatically, in the normal pentane, large contact area, so there is strong attraction. In the isopentane, less surface area, less attraction. And in the case of neopentane, even very small contact area and the weakest attraction, so the boiling point of this molecule will be lowest. So neopentane will be having boiling point lower than isopentane and isopentane will be having boiling point lower than normal pentane. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Wish you all the best.